Okay, so I had a request from someone on Facebook on how to make a um, chandelier with your Cricut. So the chandelier that they found had a bunch of SVG files and things like that. So I just used one cartridge and two cuts from that cartridge to make this shape chandelier. Okay? Um, two of these cuts right here welded together and then one on the top that's a different cut. So I will show you that on the gypsy in just a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I cut two of these out and I cut them out with post-it craft paper because I wanted to make a sparkly decoration. And the easiest way for me to glitter something up is to use post-it craft paper because it's sticky on one side. So I'm just going to peel the backing off and from all these little tendrils on this the storybook cartridge is good for fancy looking things like this. So, And actually the storybook cartridge is one of my new additions. I didn't used to have it. That one and Once Upon a Princess, they go together. Okay, once you have all of that off, okay, here's the sticky side. I'm going to use this this glitter that I got at Michael's and it's just found kind of in the kids glitter section and it's called Crystal and it's by the Glitter Glitterix Corporation and I just liked it because of course and it kind of looked like snow so I'm using this because this is kind of going to be um, a holiday decoration so I'll probably put it up now even though it's not even Thanksgiving yet because it's pretty <laughs> but I want it to be kind of Christmassy so I'm going to glitter that side. This made me think that I needed a bigger glitter catcher. I'm just going to keep sprinkling it on the paper. Okay, once it's nice and covered, okay, then I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to open this up and dump the excess glitter in here. Next part for this little chandelier is we have two of these. We have this one and this one. I just videotaped one of them. And now we're going to make a cut in the chandelier. Okay, so we're going to make one cut at the top of this chandelier. I'm not sure how big I need it, so I'm just going to cut it A little bit and then um, we'll see how far more I need to cut it Then I'm gonna cut this one okay then we should be able to piece these two together by the two slits that we made and then we'll be able to see if our slits were big enough and it doesn't look like they are so I need to make this top one longer. Of course the smaller the chandelier the less of a slit you need to make. I'm just going to keep cutting a little bit at a time until it fits perfectly together because I'd rather cut not enough. Okay now we're just going to piece these together so, they line up, yep, just like that, and then we're going to keep, whoops, we're not going to want not let go of them, <laughs> put these back together, sorry. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little glue dot to keep the top together. So let's see here. All right, on this side, and I'm just going to stick that right there. So now there's our little chandelier. Okay, it needs to be um, adjusted just a little bit. Once I hang it up, I'm not holding it very straight. There we go. There's our chandelier, and it's glittery on half of the sides. That's it, and it'll hang from the ceiling. So I'm going to get something to hang it up. Okay, there it is, hanging from my ceiling. The chandelier. 
the glitter chandelier <laughs> made out of paper. Okay, and I think it's pretty. I did tie it with pink bow instead, yeah. Um, then I think I could hang a little jewel here, but I don't have any, so I'll have to go shopping for them. So that's it. There's my chandelier. And now I'll show you the cricket or the gypsy files. Okay, like I said, I only used one cartridge and my cartridge was storybook. And I used um oh, I got to create a cutter. Okay. Let's go to storybook. I'm not sure how I jumped there. Okay, so storybook. And I used shift and this second one right here. Okay, and then I just welded two of those together. I flipped one around. So as you can see, there's one, and then I flipped the other one, so it was the mirror image, and then I connected them in the middle, and then the top is a shift, and then this one right below it. And then I just connected that to the top. I welded that to the top. And that's my cut. Thanks for watching, everyone.